The world reliance on plastics is deep-rooted. From food storage to life-saving medical supplies to cutting-edge technology, plastics are found all around us. Plastics are commonly used because they're versatile. They're lightweight, they're economical, they really level the playing field for everybody to have access to goods. They're used in consumer product packaging, they're used in durable goods, they're used in healthcare, they're used in safety items. They have a lower carbon footprint, they save energy by using them versus the other commodities. I bet it's nearly impossible for you to walk through your house and find any room that doesn't have plastic. So this concept of rid the world of plastic, it's said for the right reasons because we have a plastic waste problem. The answer is not get rid of plastic entirely. So if we did a better job by managing plastic at the end of life, then we would be able to use it over and over and over again. And that's the concept of circularity. Now you've got something that the world can use over and over and over again without consuming incrementally more fossil fuels every time. As companies around the world aim to reduce their carbon footprint, the conversation turns to recycling, specifically polypropylene, one of the most used plastics in the world and the least recycled. Polypropylene is a lightweight, durable, tough plastic that's used across many different applications due to its strength as well as its material efficiency. You'll find it in things in packaging, laboratory products like this graduated cylinder is made of polypropylene. You'll find it in medical device applications. So if you ever go to the hospital, you'll notice all the different syringes. All of those things are made of polypropylene due to its amazing properties. So polypropylene has been conceived to be difficult to recycle in the past because there isn't a standard critical mass identifiable polypropylene that you can go and recycle and say, I know what it's going to be again under a mechanical recycling process. So water bottles, soda pop bottles, bottles all coming in a gallon jug that are natural and clear. So it's predictable. They can know what the milk flow and the color is going to be and it can be colorable again. When you look behind me and you see all those different formats, it's not like a bale of just bottles and it's not just a bale of natural and so in the past mechanical recyclers are like what can we make out of this where can we sell it now you bring in pure cycle where we can take and purify it and make it all clear and natural again it allows all these different formats with these different colors to be recycled again so at P&G, we use polypropylene across many different applications, starting with packaging, like caps and closures on, say, a shampoo bottle. You also find it in some of our products, for example, razor blade handles or toothbrush handles. These are all made of polypropylene due to its strength, its lightweight, and its durability. We also use polypropylene at P&G in hygiene products, so things like diapers, wipes, all benefit from the amazing physical properties of polypropylene. Plastic recycling has been declared a loss by some, but with innovative solutions that allow for multiple uses of recycled goods, leaders in this space are changing that narrative. Pure Cycle's ultra-pure recycled resin can help solve the plastic waste problem. Due to its quality and sustainability benefits, true circularity is now possible with polypropylene plastic. Pure Cycle's passionate about everything that we do because we feel like we're making a difference. It's hard to find anybody inside the Pure Cycle ecosystem that's not passionate about what we do. And it just gives us a, a never give up type attitude. We have a belief that we're gonna change the world. We have a belief that we're making a real difference. And I think anytime you take your professional life and you mix it with something as powerful as that, it's a combination that's unstoppable. So what's exciting about Pure Cycle's Ultra Pure Plastic is the fact that we're able to take a fully recycled, circularized material that's free of colorants, free of odors, and other contaminants that would otherwise limit the use of these recycled materials in P&G applications. At P&G, we want to sell products that are premium, that when you buy them at the store, there's no trade-off in the experience at the shelf, and Pure Cycle's resin enables us to do that. It's been a great group of people who have put a lot of effort into ensuring that we're scaling this to a scale that will really make a difference and an impact on society, our relationship with plastics, and that's very fulfilling and very exciting. Pure Cycle's game-changing recycling technology can help the world limit its reliance on new plastic production and help to propel us forward toward a net-zero era. 
PureCycle's unique recycling process is a purification, not a chemical or just a mechanical. They call it dissolution process, but it doesn't dissolve all the other polymers, the colorants, or the additives. And so we're able to separate it much like if you were to contaminate salt with pepper and you dissolve it with water, filter off the pepper, evaporate the water, and you're left with a pure salt again, removing all the contaminants and then being left with a pure polypropylene. PureCycle is in a great position to really change the world with our technology. And the reason is we're a plastic to plastic solution. We take a low quality feedstock, we convert it to a high quality product, and we use a lot less carbon intensity to make our product what it requires for other processes. The growth and opportunity for PureCycle to expand is unlimited. Every nation in the world that consumes plastic, creates plastic waste, would love to be able to convert that into a high quality product. And that's really the game changing technology that PureCycle brings to the table. To find out more, visit www.purecycle.com.